Hey man, y'all, it is Kathy Brock from LUTG Radio, and it's 8.21 a.m. in the morning, y'all, and the sun is still out. It's still shining, and the trees are, uh, the leaves are beautiful, reddish, orange, yellowish, you know, fall color. <laughs> so, um, I still say take your umbrella to work, but hey, that's just me, that's what I'm going to do, take my umbrella out today, or rain jacket. Um, but, uh, it's nice, so and let's enjoy the weather, because it's nice outside. Hey, we got, uh, the altar call in the last five minutes of the show, we got the ministry minutes in about 14 minutes, and I found a song that is befitting for the weekend. You know, y'all remember Booty Call, right? You know you did one. Don't lie. So, you know how you've always told that significant other or the person you wanted to be your significant other you can be my booty call I'll be your booty call hey your only booty call should be your spouse so dudes when y'all thinking about some hooking up with some lady think about your wife ladies when you thinking about hooking up with some dude think about your husband let it be them call them up at night and say hey I'm just getting off work <laughs> yada 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 you know what I mean all right, so here we go. Late night call by Nell Bryden. Let's keep it all in the family, y'all. Skirt, skirt, skeet, skeet. In the family. Uh, everything's gonna be alright as 
is Galicia. My girl is the queen like Latifah. Nice to meet ya. I'm not a creeper. So if I dance in your radius, I'm not trying to freak ya. I don't live single. I mingle with the ring on. Tied and not in no two until infinity beyond. I'm like years ahead of you, player. I don't play games. I won't take back my words like it's my last name. Innocent until proven. Word the chief wig. I'm calling my rap sugar snacks and all y'all. The tracks get composed on the MV. Nobody's seeing this. Who's on the board? Check the fingerprints. 88 keys. Drop the 808 bass. Cause it's 2008 and I got something to say. Hey, rappers. Hey, 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 hey. Judgment Day. Give me a 
love went away And if it ever was true All the plans we made of how someday we would be great I now go on without you But I believe That we could set the world on fire Was it all a dream? Amen, amen, amen. It's time for Ministry Minutes. This is your girl, Kathy Brox, for LUTG Radio. And um, I'm in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1. Oh, you got 1 uh, through 12. All right. Uh, the words of Jeremiah, the son of Hilkiah, the priests uh, that were in Anoth in the land of Benjamin. All right. And let's see here. He goes down and he tells them, um, uh, to whom the word of the Lord came in the days of Josiah, the son of Anon, Ammon, king of Judah, in the thirteenth year of his reign. It came also in the days of Jehoiakim, the son of Joshua, king of Judah, unto the end of the eleventh year of Zedekiah, and the son of Josiah, king of Judah, unto the carrying away of Jerusalem captive in the fifth month. Then the word of the Lord came to me, unto me, saying, Before I formed you in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou uh, camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Then said I, O oh Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt Speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to rot out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me unto me, saying, Jeremiah, what seest thou? And I said, I see a rod of an almond tree. Then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen.
for I will hasten my word to perform it. And the word of the Lord came unto me the second time, saying, What seest thou? And I said, I see a pot, I see a seething pot, and the face thereof is toward the north. Then the Lord said unto me, Out of the north, and an evil shall break forth upon the inhabitants of the land. For lo, I will call all the families of the kingdoms of the north, said the Lord, and they shall come and they shall set every one, every one his throne at the entering of the gates of Jerusalem and against all the walls thereof round about and against all the cities of Judah. And I will utter my judgments against them, touching, uh, touching all their wickedness who have forsaken me and have burned an incense unto God, unto other gods and worshiped the works of their own hands. Uh, thou therefore gird up thou, thy loins and arise and speak unto them all that I command thee. Be not dismayed at their faces, lest I command thee there uh, before them. For behold, I have made thee this day a defense city and an iron pillar and a brazen wall against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, against the princes thereof, against the priests thereof, and against the people of the land. And they shall fight against thee. But they shall not prevail against thee, for I am with thee, saith the Lord, to deliver thee. Thee means you. Now, I say all that to say is, God is with you. He has designed you for a purpose. I read the whole thing, the first chapter of Jeremiah. But God designed each one of you for a purpose. He designed me for a purpose. And you are not too young to fulfill the purpose that God has set in you. And I was about to say, you're not too old. But if you have not fulfilled your purpose and you are old now, ask God, okay, Lord, what part of my purpose can I fulfill now because I'm old and I didn't hear you and I didn't pay attention and I, I didn't trust you. But everyone is, is designed for a purpose in God. And just because you're young, that don't mean that you can't do it. That means that you can. He did it with Jeremiah and he can do it with you. All right? You have a purpose. You matter. That's Ministry Minutes. Amen. We got the altar call in about uh, five minutes. We got um, one more song here. And this is for the lovers. Amen, amen, amen. It's called Thank You for Your Love by Kevin Jenkins. Amen, amen. You want to thank your love. You want to thank your spouse. You know, do something nice for them today. Today is Thursday. Nice day Thursday. Love my spouse Thursday. Yeah. All right. God bless. Give all praise and glory unto God. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I talk to you a minute? Listen. When I woke up, Early this morning, I said, Lord, I thank you for letting me see a brand new day. Deep within my heart, Lord, I begin to praise your name. My life would complete if you hadn't shown me the way Lord I thank you thank you master over and over and over again thank you for the keep on giving me ooh yeah Lord you're wonderful 
loves you even though you didn't deserve it you heard the man you heard him amen love is is given when you don't even deserve it you've done nothing to earn it just the way you love your your spouse when he does something to irritate you but you love him anyway he's done nothing to earn that love but you love him anyway or your wife is so disrespectful or so rude to your friends and whatever but you hug her and you kiss her and you love her anyway maybe she just don't understand your friends or whatever the case is but you like I love you I still love you that's not gonna change no matter how many times she try and test you to see if she can break you to see what your breaking point is and you just love her anyway you keep loving and you keep telling her I love you I love you it's not going to change. Stop trying to change my love for you. It's not going to change. I love you. I love you. Keep loving her, dude. Eventually, she'll be like, you know what? He does love me. So, ladies, don't wait till it's too late to figure out that your husband actually loves you. <laughs> Amen. Jesus loves you, but I can tell you this. Spouses, you don't love your spouse more than Jesus loves them. Jesus loves you and your spouse more than the both of you put together. Amen. He sacrificed himself on a cross just for you and for me. Amen. He says, I love y'all so much. I'm doing this because my father loves you. I love my father. I love who he loves and I love you. We created you in our image. Amen. And you are our responsibility. We named you. Remember, when you name a thing, that makes you responsible for that thing. And they named us, which make them responsible for us. When I say they, I mean Jehovah God, Jehovah Jesus, Jehovah Holy Ghost. Amen. The triune, the trinity, the one true God, Jehovah. So if you want, uh, you want that pure love, you want the inheritance, the Lord gives. Amen. Repeat this prayer confession after me. Lord, I know I am a sinner. I know I can't earn or buy my way into heaven. I want to know your pure love. Lord, I freely accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior of my life. From this day forward, I give my life to you, Jesus. Direct me in all my ways and keep me on your righteous path. I have faith in the blood of Jesus. Set me in the atmosphere of learning in a Bible-based church. In your name, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Congratulations. Go to Facebook.com forward slash LUTG Radio. Click on the link. Find a church so you can get yourself into a uh, foundation class and an intercessor prayer class. Amen. So you know that you're the head and not the tail. And here's our closing prayer for the day. Thank you, Lord, for a successful show and the many souls saved by the word of God. Now covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. We believe you love us and receive your love, for we are the beloved. Thank you, Lord. You be glorified in all the earth in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> all right, y'all. We got one minute, 47 seconds left. Don't forget, we have a fundraiser. It's indiegogo.com forward slash L-U-T-G radio fundraiser. We are offering... 
uh, contributions as low as one dollar, we will pray for your youth, we will pray for the adults in your life, your neighbors, amen. And also you can get commercials on air for real cheap, whether you're a church, small business, large business, we will also do something. We got something for lovers, for the spouses out there. It's called 72 Words. We got um, something to put your pictures up on the uh, on um, on Facebook, on uh, and well, basically on the LUTG Radio website. We got something for everybody. All you gotta do is contribute. Amen. Contribute. It's worth it. Amen. And it's awesome. And we also have something called. Uh, Christmas for Troops, where we uh, pay to uh, send out care packages to the 100,000 deployed troops and then in a, uh, that are uh, deployed from America. So they're in uh, countries where they're, uh, uh, they're not all in uh, war-torn countries. Some of them are just protecting the interests of America, and some of them are just protecting basically the humanity for those that are not American because, well, they need somebody to protect their rights and somebody to fight for their rights. So we got a lot of soldiers out there that are doing humanitarian work. And um, they're away from home while they're doing it. So I'm asking you to contribute. Indiegogo.com forward slash LUTG Radio Funwares. And we want to say thank you to them because our soldiers are so humble. They don't even ask for thanks. They just do it. So hasta mañana. Thank you so much. And I will see you tomorrow. Thank you, Lord, for giving me.